But all pathos is pathetic anyways. Yeah, it is. So I just so, want to know you're a pathologist. Right. So what is the pathos here? Uh, out here, there, there is really no pathos. Out here is a lot of celebration. Absolutely. Celebration in what Apna does every day and a heritage from Pakistan which we are proud to, to bear on our sleeves. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I will give you the mic and you can do whatever you want. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I promised that considering you'd be listening to me so often, I'll try to keep what I say to, to, to maybe two to three minutes. First of all, today is the alumni night. We are so very proud of our alumni. Apna is because of alumni, it, is, it was formed because of all of your passion and dedication to your alumnus. Harvard is not Harvard, or Yale is not Yale, without what their alumni do for these institutions. So is not any of the great medical institutions in Pakistan, great without the alumni and the pride that the alumni have in these institutions. Look at Nishtar, a million dollar foundation for scholarships to the students going to medical school. Look at all the other institutions together, we today have a two million dollar scholarship for our students in Pakistan. Just in the last two months, we've given out 30 scholarships for, for, for medical students who cannot afford medical college but are bright enough to enter medical college. This year, we started our first free clinic in Karachi. We, of course, are building a school along with TCF in Manirabad. But much more importantly, the leadership of Apna, despite what you think, such as we don't do anything other than organize Bhangra parties, is concerned and knows that we have to own our communities here in the United States. We have to ensure the future of our youngsters and our next few generations, not immigrant, Americans, like myself, but like Americans of immigrant parents, like mine and your children and a lot of children who are sitting here. And if today we don't take ownership of our communities and ensure that these bright children have a future, maybe tomorrow they will not look back very proudly to the heritage of Pakistan and wear it on their sleeve with the fervor that I and you wear a heritage on our sleeves. So therefore, the most important project for me this year was to start a scholarship for students going to college on basis of need. And I am happy to let you know that we have actually been able to gather, uh, we should be giving out 20 scholarships in September for students who are going to college on the basis of need and then merit, and we will love for you to contribute it and take ownership of your own communities here in the United States. But much more importantly, as you would notice, this entire evening is dedicated to eradication of polio in Pakistan. When I was there in December, uh, December, along with Dr. Mubashir Rana, then the president of APNA, we were greeted by the uh, local, uh, by, by a wonderful gentleman by the name of Aziz Maimon, who insisted
to acquaint us with what Rotary is doing in Pakistan for polio eradication. But much more importantly, what Rotary has done for eradication of polio worldwide. Having been exposed to it firsthand, we decided that we will support Rotary's efforts intellectually and if possible monetarily in Pakistan. And it is an honor and a privilege for me, an absolute honor and a privilege for me to welcome today the president of Rotary International who has been kind and gracious enough to fly out this, in, uh, this afternoon with his beautiful wife, Judy, Mr. John F. Germ. Mr. Germ, like any great leader, has spent a lifetime dedicated to Rotary International. Now, Rotary International is not a small organization, as you all know. I think every corner that you turn, there is a Rotary Club there. President Jung is Board Chair and Chief Executive Officer of Campbell & Associates Inc., which is a consulting engineering firm. I have a whole CV for him. And as I met him, I told him that I would not fill this, um, uh, this, this introduction with a lot of what he has done, but what, what he is doing. He joined Rotary in 1976. And he has obviously stepped up the ladder and has held every post a person can in Rotary International. Do you know how much Rotary International has contributed besides contributing to, to health care, to finances, to eradicating, uh, to, to education in, in the entire world? But just for Rotary, President Jim, correct me if I am wrong, Rotary International has raised and contributed hundreds of millions of dollars across the world for eradication of polio. And in Pakistan alone over the last several years, they have contributed nearly a hundred million dollars and because of effort like institutions like Rotary International, today Pakistan is just this close to become a polio-free country. And that would be an amazing landmark for Pakistan. And to honor that, and to honor President Jum, I'll invite him to join me on the stage today.
international community that Romanians will not give up. We will accomplish our mission. So we want to give a whole message that we want to have a healthy Pakistan, an educated Pakistan, which will bring a brighter future to Pakistan. Thank you very much. It's an honor for me to be here with you tonight and for Judy and I to come to accept your thanks to Rotary International. We not only accept your thanks to Rotary International for this recognition, but we accept it on behalf of each of you, all of the doctors, the nurses, and the healthcare workers that are working every part bit today to be sure that every child is safe from that virus called polio. It was mentioned in the film that we are in fact just this close. From a program that started in 1985, when there were over 1,000 cases of polio a day in the world in over 125 countries in geographic regions, to today when there are only just two countries, Pakistan and Afghanistan, that have the wild polio virus. Pakistan only has 13 cases of polio this year, so congratulate all of the people there for all the hard work that they've done.